So let's now get into the third topic and look at the third structure which is called the divisional structure. In this case each division based on the industry is separated. The divisional manager directly reports to the CEO. So if there is a requirement of a new product that needs to be launched into the market by a particular division, it is it is autonomous as far as that particular division is concerned to go ahead and implement this particular strategy. It goes ahead and comes out with a new innovative product where the link between the divisional manager and the CEO is direct. Hence, there is no intermediary as far as the division is concerned. So the advantage is that the accountability is there. Innovation of new products can happen as far as the divisional structure is concerned. It is easier to implement new products as far as new industry is concerned. So every time a new line of products are there. Now, for example, let's say the cosmetic range of products. A company has a cosmetic range of products. Company has consumer durables. Company has consumer non-durables. So each division becomes a separate division. Division. The divisional manager reports directly to the CEO. He could be the vice president of that particular division, general manager of that particular division. So what happens, that entire responsibility of the division lies in the head of that particular division. The strategy or implementation of a strategy lies in the hands of that particular divisional manager. There is no interference between the other divisional manager to this particular division. So he becomes a profit center as far as that division is concerned. The divisional manager has to provide profit profitability and accountability of that division to the CEO directly. So managing the affairs of a division becomes easier when it is separated into a different division. Now let's take an example where all the products are under one particular division, then the accountability becomes very difficult. You do not know which product is doing better, which product is not doing better. Here in this particular case, as far as the division is concerned, it becomes easier for us to understand which division is doing better, the, the revenue from which division is better, the profitability from which division is better. So it becomes easier for us to understand how the organization is growing, which division is doing the best. So even in, in pharmaceutical companies, there are different divisions that have been operated. The gynecology division is separate, the cardiac division is separate, the generic division is separate. So you have a separate divisional manager who takes care of the sales, who takes care of the innovation of the product coming out with new launch products of that particular division separately.